apron of Garrison Dam in North Dakota is getting a minor makeover. On June 1st, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers opened the spillway gates to allow floodwaters to pass through for the first time in the dam's history. During a routine inspection done as part of the startup procedure for the spillway, an engineer noticed a plume of water spray. I expected to see a fairly uniform uh, sheen or layer of water flowing across the concrete slab. And we noticed uh, an irregularity in the flow of that water where the water was spraying up a couple of feet, which would indicate to us that there was some abnormality in the subsurface. The spillway gates were closed and Corps engineers ventured forth on the apron to figure out the cause of the spray. What they found was a spall, an area of surface deterioration, in this case fairly minor. The deterioration likely was the result of freezing and thawing action on the concrete slab over time. Engineers decided to test the apron to determine whether the deterioration would progress. The concern was if the delaminating in the concrete was severe enough that we could continue to get layers to come off. That's why we went to the higher release uh, flows yesterday to kind of force the issue and see if that would in fact happen, and it did not. Contractors cleared out areas of surface erosion, including down toward the base of the apron. And we're now in the process of using a quick cure concrete to uh, re-establish that smooth concrete surface so that the water will flow over it uniformly. Soon, the spillway gates will be open once more to allow floodwaters to evacuate out of Garrison Dam. While they've been closed, additional floodwaters have been moved through the dam's regulating tunnels on the west side, as well as through the powerhouse. To find out more about Garrison Dam or any of the six main stem dams along the Missouri River Basin, follow us on Facebook and Twitter.